And so, like, at Penny Appeal, like, you know, for me, I was speaking to uh, Adim recently, right? And we kind of touched upon Penny Appeal and stuff. And I was just saying, I felt like, you know, you guys came out of nowhere. Like, there's these charities that have been around for decades and decades and decades, right? Since our uh, forefathers arrived in this country. Um, and Penny Appeal just seems like it came from nowhere uh, and it became really big. Uh, and it's now a major charity, mm -hmm. mashallah. And, you know, I was looking at some of the figures and it's like you guys, you know, you and your team, you guys grew it from like, you know, 100K to what, 20, 20 million? Yeah, so the year we've um, just closed, um, uh, so those accounts haven't been published yet, um, we were 28 and a half million. Uh, so the, the, the one you'll see on the, on the charity social website currently is around 24 uh, million. Uh, but we actually also in this year received uh, significant in-kind donations in field. So the accounts would actually say something close to around 34 million. But I always count real money as I say it. Real money is what we've generated from the community here, uh, Alhamdulillah, from the UK effort uh, is just over 20, 20, 28 million, Alhamdulillah. So how how do you like this is this is one of the reason why I was so excited to speak to you really because I want to know like about this journey of how do you grow something from 100k which a lot of people can get to to producing something that does tens of millions you know same formula I said to you before hard work and common sense um, uh, and you 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 just have to put the time in you know we I I kid you not we've not done anything and if you actually look to see what Penny has actually done. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to you about what is different, of course, in just a moment, but the yeah. vast majority, when I say the vast majority, over 90% is business as usual, normal stuff. Yeah? We have a, an online presence. Um, social media is social media. Facebook is Facebook. Um, a website is a website. Our website, uh, another organization's website, they're just websites. Um, uh, events are events, you know, charitable events. Dinners are dinners. Um, telethons are telethons, you know. There's nothing that you can say, oh, Pennyfield does this differently in terms of actual, yeah. if you look at the, the ingredients, the building blocks, the building blocks, same building blocks. What we did was we just colored it somewhat differently. Um, uh, so uh, I am what I would call confidently Muslim and comfortably British. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a, a massive uh, need and a want for British Muslims to have that sense of belonging. But it's very difficult to to sometimes even define what it means to be Muslim. Are we talking about Sunni Muslim, Shia Muslim, or is it Salafi? Um, are there other kind of denominations? Is that what it means to be Muslim? Or what, what was the Islam of the Prophet Sallallahu Because he obviously wasn't all these things. But then what was that? That everyone would say, no, no, we're following his way. But everyone would say they're following his way. So it's a very difficult question sometimes. That's what does it even mean to be Muslim? And actually, in terms of your uh, organizational practice, uh, not, not, talking about, not talking about your ibadat here, but I'm talking about your muamalat side. In terms of your organizational practice, it almost doesn't matter what color is anyway. So if you're too busy focusing on the denomination, yeah, that's not going to help your organization. Um, but once you then understand that, actually, look, it doesn't matter. I am Muslim. The point is I'm Muslim. Yeah? And I'm confidently yeah. Muslim. And I'll continue to explore what that means. Because look, some of my, uh, many people's journey has changed from this color or that color. Well, I've got this awareness. I used to hang out with that group and then I became one of those. Now I hung out with this group and became one of those. Many people tell you those mm -hmm. stories. Yeah. Um, uh, and so that's always going to evolve somewhat.